Uh, I fucking despise covering no bullshit, but you guys fucking love it. You guys beg me to cover no bullshit. You guys send me his videos in the fucking, in my server constantly, so we're gonna do it. We're covering no bullshit again. Type, here, I'm gonna do a poll really quick. Really quick, just a, just a quick poll to ask you guys a question. I want to see how many of you are Australian. Actually, no. I'm not doing a poll for it. Type one in chat if you're Australian. You got any Aussies in chat? God, you guys are a bunch of smart asses. All right. So we have a fair number of Australians in chat, and I know a lot of you guys are having a deal with um with wildfires, right? Wildfires that are mostly possible and able to spread so horrendously because of massive droughts and uh, changes in the climate in Australia. And thus, we can move, you know, we can trace the cause of these fires back to climate change. But unfortunately, no bullshit exists. And he has made a video called Australian Wildfires Politicized by Leftists. Oh, boy. Um, all right, then. I'm gonna turn this up to two times speed because you know the drill. No bullshit. If you listen to him for too long, will cause your brain to melt. And uh, let's fucking do it, boys. Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we turn to talk about the terrible wildfires currently happening in Australia. That country has been literally on fire since about September. And although weather like rain has recently helped calm things down somewhat, there's still a lot of fire to stop there and even more damage and problems to clean up in the aftermath. Almost 20 million acres of bush, forest, and parks caught fire amid their long and deep drought there recently. And this, of yep, course, is a horrible bad. situation and all our thoughts and prayers should really be with the Aussie people right now. And this situation really has no reason to get political either. We should all stand together united in an effort to support Australia. Wait, what? Okay. So this is the issue. They do this with, with like school shootings and shit too, where, um... A, like, so what is happening here is a symptom of climate change. These wildfires are just another symptom of climate change. Big hurricane, big tsunami, large, like crazy weather events, wildfires, things like that. These are symptoms of climate change. However, what's happening here is... Um, <laughs> non gloria pharaoh says my boss walked by me scrolling on twitter on the work computer and saw you retweet vosh he said she has a nice ass oh no oh no 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 i can't show it on twitch because i'll get banned but vosh tweeted out an image of his of him wearing a uh like a fucking thong that says flat earth fat ass it's a good meme uh, Fernando Covet, thank you for the five dollars. Says, what's a better source of income, super chats or Patreon donations? Um, Patreon and donations on my website are the better source of income, but I appreciate the five dollars, my friend. Um, super chats are usually not preferred for me, but I won't d deny them. Um, but yeah, they'll do this. They'll do this. Where like they'll say, "Ha, huh, climate change is happening. Name, a, w give me a a symptom of it. What's happen? Give me an example of climate change. Yeah, these massive forest fires. Ah, why are you politicizing these forest fires? Yeah. With our words, awareness, and monetary donations, if you can afford it. But as with almost everything in current year, the liberals have decided to make this political as they try and use this tragedy as a way to push their own agendas. You can probably already guess. Where Once again, like all fascists, there's no bullshit as a fascist. Like all fascists do, uh, conflating liberals and leftists, they literally don't even have their political labels, right? That's how stupid these people are. But no bullshit is like a special case. Like no bullshit might have actual brain damage. Um, I'm not trying to be ableist or mean here. I'm speaking not as a joke. I'm being very serious here. No bullshit probably has some form of brain damage. I've seen the dude talk when he isn't reading a script. Um, from what I've seen, his brain physically isn't able to form a cohesive thought process. Like, you can't, like, walk him through, like, a logic puzzle. You wouldn't be able to do it. His brain just can't do it. This is going now, too. This being a weather-related story involving a very hot issue like fires, well, it really shouldn't surprise anyone that liberals are trying to blame this all on global warming. Another real issue, sure, somewhat, but it's certainly not proven to be related to this Somewhere. Australian story at all, nor is climate change nearly as devastating. Yes, it has. Literally every scientist is involved has said, yes, this is a symptom of, of uh, climate change or influential, as leftists would have you believe. Really, their strategy is to use threats like global warming and climate change and scare ignorant voters into joining their side. Because, surprise, surprise, Democrats also have solutions ready to go for the problems they just made up. Or in this case, the left is taking an ongoing, very real problem like the Australia. problems they just made up? I thought you just said global warming was a real problem somewhat. In fires, and they're trying to pin a false reasoning onto it, pretending they know climate change is the cause of this without any evidence or proof. And then we're supposed to now vote Democrat and enact their policies, which are loosely related or completely unrelated to protecting the environment whatsoever. And to make matters even worse, news stories are coming out that contradict their claims too, showing that there are actually real, rational reasons for these fires, which have nothing to do with the left's environmental base.
Okay, he's about to bring up the arson thing, I'm pretty sure, because there was, like, 12 people that were arrested for, like, attempting to start fires in Australia, like, arsonists. Literally, I don't think, Pete, you realize this, but, um, the people saying it's climate change that are, you know, fueling these fires don't think that just out in the, like, just in the middle of the night one day, like, when it's, or when, in the middle of the day, it's really hot because of climate change or global warming, and all of a sudden, just a fucking fire combusts out of nowhere. No one thinks that. The reason why climate change is a problem is because it changes the climate. It makes it so that maybe it rains less in Australia or certain er anywhere, really. Maybe it starts to rain less, and so it gets drier. Plants start to die. Leaves start to die. They fall to the ground. Leaves are very combustible. They burn easy. When there is a drought happening and there isn't a lot of water, some it's very easy for a fire to start and to get worse. 24 people. Okay, yeah, and even then, the blazes were exacerbated by climate change. This is the same take Tim Pool took for this and the Amazon fires. Yep, we do have fires here every few years. The climate changes have grossly increased the severity of the fires. Yeah, Underdog, um, you can look up a... Um, there is data out about this. This is the worst... Um, like, like the uh, amount of, um, of forest fires like and bushfires and whatnot that we see around the world um, coincide with the droughts that we see, which also coincide with the amount of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases and whatnot humans are putting into the atmosphere. They didn't rake their leaves. No one ever listens. Non the Ice Age is the human's fault too. There's like probably, I don't know if they're trolling, but level three witch doctor in chat is saying the Ice Age was human's fault too. That is a non sequitur. No one is claiming that the Ice Age was he the human's fault. I guess you're doing the whole, oh yeah, the Earth goes through different periods of warming and cooling. No, that's that's not that's not how it works. That's that's no one is making the, the argument that the Earth doesn't go through periods of warming and cooling. The argument that we're seeing is that we're going through a um a period of unprecedented change in climate. That is going to result and has we've observed it it is there is an upward trend of the symptoms of this harming people people are dying because of these fires the scientific community agrees these fires are being exasperated by climate change people are dying because of climate change hurricanes are becoming more extreme because of climate change people are dying because of hurricanes and stronger storms it's it's happening it is hurting people today now it's not like a billion years in the future it's happening now um, or shitty PM also cut funding to the fire service, causing hundreds of service members to be fired. He also ignored calls to discuss the um, predicted severity in favor of talking to religious leaders over some bullshit laws for religion. Yeah, even if you, okay, even if you don't believe climate change is, is the result, you still have to make it political because the, M, the, um, the prime minister of Australia, who is conservative, like very conservative, is redirecting money that needs to be going into putting these fires out and helping people and redirecting it into like religious freedom laws, which are meant to make it so that like religious institutions can discriminate against gay people and women and shit like that and black people because, you know, they don't like them. Um, like even then, even if you don't believe in climate change, it's still a political issue. Ace fear -mongering. We'll get to more of these embarrassing conclusions later too, but first, we need to talk about where this all started. First, let's talk more about how liberals are trying to link the Australian wildfires to climate change. The first I heard of this happening in America was at last week's Golden Globe Awards. Despite the host Ricky Gervais roasting everyone properly and directly telling the award winners not to use their acceptance speeches at this event as a political platform, but of course, many did so anyway. A few examples of this can be found in this Guardian article called Russell Crowe and Kate That's Blanchett. literally not what he did. Ricky Gervais did not in any way, shape, or form say not to make things political. He explicitly said Epstein didn't kill himself, which is a pretty fucking political statement. Use Golden Globe speeches to link Australian fire. Uh, Scomo is a Pentecostal Christian. He literally believes the election was a miracle. Yeah, Pentecostals are fucking insane. There's a climate crisis. This should be good. Let's go ahead and check it out. On Sunday night, Australian actors thanked volunteer firefighters and drew attention to the climate disaster. That has made the country's fire season longer and more intense. So you say, Crow won best actor in a limited So you say, I'm sorry, but the scientific community agrees on this. If you disagree with this, I'm sorry, but you're anti-science or motion picture made for TV for his performance as Roger Ailes in The Loudest Voice. But the Australian actor whose home in Nana Glen in New South Wales was hit by fires in November did not attend the ceremony because he was with his family preparing for the latest bushfires. Actor Jennifer Aniston, who was presenting the award, read out Crow's statement on his behalf. Make no mistake, the tragedy unfolding in Australia is climate change based. Crow said, we need to act based on science, move our global workforce to renewable energy, and respect our planet for the unique and amazing place it is. Well, True! True! This quote hurts more than the rest for me. Russell Crowe has always been a personal favorite actor of mine. Gladiator, A Beautiful Mind, Robin Hood, Cinderella Man. This guy was a living legend in the 2000s. So to see him go down this getting political and left-wing route is especially disappointing for me. Crowe was once a I know, right? How upset is it that you like this actor? And then he says, and then he says, literally, let's read the quote. Like, imagine, 
liking somebody and then you stop liking them because they said this. Because they said, can we see the whole quote? Make no mistake, the tragedy unfolding in Australia is climate change based. We need to act based on science, move our global workforce to renewable energy, and respect our planet for the unique and amazing place it is. Imagine liking someone and then changing your mind about them and not liking them anymore because they said that. Holy shit. Like, no bullshit is subhuman levels of like, like, like of just, I can't find the, the smallest shred of respect for him as a person in my, in my, like, body. I just can't. Crow said, we need to act based on science, move our global workforce to renewable energy, and respect our planet for the unique and amazing place it is. Well, I gotta say, this quote hurts more than the rest for me. Russell Crowe has always been a personal favorite actor of mine. Gladiator, A Beautiful Mind, Robin Hood, Cinderella Man. This guy was a living legend in the 2000s, so to see him go down this getting political and left-wing route is especially disappointing for me. Crowe was once a badass, rough and tumble-like actor, too, who I once looked up to, and even many said I looked like Russell Crowe back in the day, but I guess Russ is even softer with old <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Thank you for the tier one sub, Dax. Uh, yeah, no, buddy. Listen. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. This is, um, that's a big no from me, dog. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Maybe Russell Crowe with a, like a, a few dozen extra pounds and a few, and minus a few attractive points, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, dude. Comrade Courtney with the tier one gifted sub to Afro Lefty says, Ricky Gervais is a 14-year-old anti-feminist gamer bro and a 60-year-old man's body, and it's pathetic. True. Stop trying to make no happen. It's not going to happen. NOH? What the fuck? Am I dumb? Best Russell, Russell Crowe performance? Stop trying to get me claimed, Chad. All right, let's watch. Age, and perhaps he's getting a little dumber too. For example, there's literally no evidence that these bushfires have anything to do with this so-called climate crisis. I know it seems to make sense at face value, sure, because it's called global warming and fires are hot, but that's just the most simple and silly and easy way nope. to do this. And that's what the left's counting on. Nope. It makes sense. With global warming is an aspect of climate change. This guy doesn't even, I know he's stupid, but like he doesn't even have, um, he doesn't even have his fucking definition straight. That's what's so annoying here. Like it, it's so hard to bunk somebody who's like fundamental view of reality is just broken. Yes, it is ironic. Uh, manufactured goods, like I, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Glo like global warming and climate change are not synonymous. C global warming is part of climate change. When you don't think about it too much, but if you just look into it a little more, you can see it's just not true, or at the very least, it's not proven to be true. And more likely, the left wingers are using this. Yes, it is. All literally, ninety-seven percent of scientists. Uh, that's all I have to say. Ninety-seven percent of scientists common misconception as a matter of fact let's make this into a meme despite 97 percent of scientists agreeing that man-made climate change is real no bullshit doesn't believe in it the big despite to shoehorn in their own issues and platforms, fear mongering for votes once again, or even worse, perhaps Crow and other celebrities are just dumb enough to believe in this. Either way, wouldn't surprise me, or maybe, and more likely, it's probably a combination of both. Lanchett, who was presenting an award, used her speech to give thanks to volunteer firefighters and draw attention to the global climate disaster. There are a lot of Australians in the room tonight. She said, "I know we are all very grateful for the callouts to our fellow compatriots who are suffering under the bushfires, so thank you." I wanted to do a special call out to the volunteer firefighters who have been at the center of battling the climate disaster that is facing Australia. And of course, when one country faces a climate disaster, we all face a climate disaster. So we're in it together. So thank you very much. Now they're not even winning awards though. The people giving them out like Kate. Blake. Wait, you're right. You're right. The climate change isn't proven. Take is literally the same as a flat earther saying. Uh, gravity is just a theory. They say that, by the way. They, they, they literally say that. Um, that They say that, oh, evolution is a theory, gravity is just a theory. They literally say that. This is the same level of cognitive dissonance and just straight-up stupidity that we're getting from uh, no bullshit here. Blanchett are getting political too, and pro SJW seemingly. What a joke. Kate Blanchett was a pretty decent oh, actress too, yeah. but this behavior in Hollywood wouldn't surprise me coming from anyone at this point. And while supporting the firefighters and thanking the heroes, helping people during this tragedy is good, of course. But politicizing it and using the people in danger as a way to promote your politics is bad. That's a no-no. Again, we have no proof this is related to climate change. If there is some sort of evidence or scientific study, please present it. But I would wager that's wrong anyway, because as I teased before, we have. I mean, literally, you could dump every scientific study on No Bullshit's head. He'd say, he'd say they're Jewish. No Bullshit is a Nazi, by the way. Um, somebody sent me a uh, a video. It was a bunch of clips from No Bullshit videos where he's like talking about Jews having the power in Hollywood and whatnot, he is a Nazi. So I guarantee um, he may not say it publicly, but if you gave him a bunch of like articles and studies showing that these are caused by, these fires are caused by climate change, he would say they're just Jewish. That's what Nazis do. You give them like any data or anything to debunk what they're saying, they'll say, oh no, it's a Jewish conspiracy. The Jews uh, planted that data. It's not true.
They're conspiracy theorists. These people, like, you cannot convince them. There is a level of cognitive dissonance that someone like No Bullshit is at where the best thing that they can do for the planet is to die. In Minecraft, but not, not in real life, of course. But just the fact that they their ideas are so harmful and they're so unwilling to change their mind despite having um, every little bit of evidence to bunk what they believe that all they can do is just get old and die off and just not exist anymore so they can stop putting out their propaganda and stop voting for conservatives. That's all they can do. That's the only way they can help the world. There's just nothing you can do to, uh, to change their mind. No bullshit dying will reduce the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. That's true, because according to no bullshit, I'm sure he'd say that most uh, greenhouse gases come from cow farts. He's probably one of those people that would say that. Evidence and stories about what actually started the fires and made them worse, which we'll get to later. But for now, perhaps the implication is just that climate change made the fires worse. But then we're talking about a much weaker and harder to prove claim, one which I would say is highly debatable. And really, liberals are just making this loose claim because they know it can't be debunked, just like how it can't be proven. Might as well say hairspray is making the wildfires worse. Think about it. Hairspray is an old meme that people would always say not to use because the aerosol in it would hurt the environment. Whether that's true or by how much, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not a scientist either. Wait, yeah, yeah, you literally, the scientists are the liberals who are saying that climate change is a problem, my dude. Um, as for the uh, air spray with the aerosol, yes, aerosol could contribute to depleting the um, Earth's ozone layer. However, we have cut down on the use of aerosols that deplete the Earth's ozone layer, and now the ozone layer is healing. However, the issue that we are currently facing right now is the fact that there is a lot of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Now, water... Now, this is a big argument that you'll get from, like, the more educated climate change deniers, if you can even, you know, call them that. Um... They'll say, yeah, but water is the most common greenhouse gas. Well, guess what? The, the way before adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, water being in the atmosphere, it was generally pretty balanced, usually through a mixture of precipitation and condensation. The amount of water vapor in the atmosphere was generally going up and down enough that it wasn't a huge issue. However, we're putting out a shit ton of extra greenhouse gas in the form of carbon dioxide and things like that that is throwing everything off balance either but really facts don't matter to these kinds of people they just take a thing they can claim to be loosely related say it probably made things worse and boom now they're connecting to the preferred narrative and what about the other question here how much is climate change making these fires worse anyway is it 10 percent worse 25 50 percent because i highly doubt it i'm willing to bet it's like one percent worse or even less almost a negligible amount of worse that these actors won't spend he's literally admitted he hasn't looked up any studies i'm not going to acknowledge this because they know the numbers and facts will hinder the gravity of what they're trying to portray. These Hollywood elites are actors and performers after all, and that puts them in a good position to push propaganda and manipulate people through our emotions. Literally on the only thing, okay, literally the only thing that these people, like these actors and, and people like Greta Thunberg are saying is listen to the science. Listen to what climatologists, what scientists are saying about climate change. Listen to the experts. Do what the experts are recommending we do. That's all they're saying. And yet, no bullshit is reading about it because he's so offended. He's such a little snowflake. Lastly, for this section, keep in mind, these actors are at an award show, millionaires giving other millionaires golden trophies, while eating expensive vegan dinners and wearing lavish suits and dresses, while also arriving in gas-guzzling limousines. With that said, there are numerous reasons not to listen to these hypocrites. And namely, they shouldn't be taken seriously on politics and world issues because they know nothing about them. If I wanted to know how to act or make a joke or cry on camera, I'd ask a Hollywood celebrity. But when I'm trying to fix my car, get some sort of surgery or operation, or if I want to talk about politics, I would go to other professionals in those fields. Really, these Hollywood elitists should just shut up and be thankful they're as rich and powerful as they are, while also accepting these awards and just going home. But instead, they're using their platform to push liberal politics, assuming some sort of unearned moral authority over us all. Really, though, what is an actor? They're using their platform to say this is literally like the most anti-intellectual take I've ever scene literally all they're doing is say listen to the science like i could make the same argument about bob who is a flat earther the guy who sang airplanes the night's got yeah that dude yeah he's a flat earther and he uses his platform to spread plat flat earth pr propaganda i could literally say he should just shut up and enjoy his money and stop using his public platform to spread these ideologies i'm like no i mean fuck they're gonna say whatever they're gonna say wait isn't it no bullshit who's against censorship? Isn't it, like, the leftists that want to censor everybody? Why is he saying that, like, actors and whatnot should be censored and they shouldn't be allowed to talk about politics? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, they just read lines that other people yeah, wrote in front of Yeah, and he literally clapped his hands about Rickard Gervais owning the left. That's true. What a fucking hypocrite. God, I... Like, this guy... I, I'm i pretty sure... How many subs does this guy have? He has... 673,000 subscribers. Um, he will probably end up hitting 1 million in the next couple years. Um, I'm pretty sure that this guy and his audience probably collectively lower the Earth's IQ by a few points, just by existing. Just, just want to call that out right there. 
lights and cameras that other people operate. You're not elected politicians or experts or scientists or anything. You're not a meteorologist. So basically, you know nothing and have no expertise that would let you know what's going on. Really, we're just looking at a couple of high and mighty overpaid actors using platforms they got from somewhere else to exploit a tragedy across the globe so they can push their own liberal politics and democratic agendas. And it's just plain disgusting. Next, the fear mongering about the fires gets even worse when the story gets picked up by a number of mainstream media news outlets. And these liberals must be getting their talking points from the same people because their headlines are looking eerily similar. First, we got yes, they're getting their talking points from fucking scientists and climatologists, literal experts that know every like everything you can possibly know as a human being about the climate. They're saying yes. These apocalyptic level wildfires may force a climate reckoning for Australia's conservative leader. They, they are saying this. Climatologists, scientists are all saying this. They're getting it from the fucking scientists, no bullshit, you fucking dumbass. At the Washington Post saying, apocalyptic wildfires may force a climate reckoning for Australia's conservative leader. Apocalypse, you say? Well, I'm not sure I'm buying that. Even if Australia was burnt down to the ground completely, God forbid it. But if it did happen, the rest of the world would, of course, be mostly fine. Don't forget, Australia is surrounded by water people. So unless that fire learned how to pilot a ship or airplane or something, they're not going to be spreading beyond that continent. All kidding aside, though, we, of course, don't want Australia to become the world of Mad Max anytime soon. And also, it's worth mentioning about this article trying to attack the Australian leader who's pretty much their version of a conservative. Well, they have different political parties and primary issues down under, but essentially, what's happening now is the left is trying to turn this wildfire disaster against their conservative leader. Well, they also blame climate change. Yes, he is literally directed money that's supposed to go into putting out these fires to like religious freedom laws and shit like that try and gain as much political capital here as possible, all coming from them exploiting this devastating... By the way, I should point out a religious freedom law that is a dog whistle. Um, like, a religious freedom law would be something like making it so that kids have to pray before school in the morning. Like, like um, uh, or for example, having to stand during the pledge, not being allowed to sit, and they have to say the under God thing, and they have to pray before school. That is what uh, religious freedom laws do. Like, regardless of whether or not you think climate change is real... Um, this is going to have a really bad impact on the fucking Scott Morrison guy. Look at this fucking piece of shit. Holy fuck. I already hated this guy, but just looking at him, he looks like one of the, um, he looks like one of the, uh, the whiny little bitches during the, um, uh, the Trump impeachment hearings that were like, this is a witch hunt by the Democrats. They are trying to defeat Trump. The, the do-nothing Democrats are trying to witch-hunt Donald Trump, the best president ever. Like, he looks like one of those dudes. I don't know why. Like, I, I, I don't remember what his fucking name is. Who is the old white dude conservative guy that was, like, defending Trump during the, uh, during the impeachment hearings? He, like, had the really, like, the really fucking strong Texas accent. Who was like, this is a witch-hunt going after our lord and savior Donald Trump. Jim Jordan? It might have been. Hold on, let me see. Like, he was the dude who was holding up his vote no thing? No, I don't think it was this guy. You know, it was this guy, I think. Here, I want to see the, um... Jim Jordan criticizes impeachment. Let's see the, uh, the clip. Can I see it? Let me see, come on. Load. No, this isn't the guy. It might be. Now, there is one witness. One wit- No, this isn't the guy. The guy that I'm talking about was, like, yelling, and he was not on the, uh, he wasn't up on the stand. All right, let's watch. Disaster. Essentially, liberals are just using the backs of those injured and dead as a stepping stone to gain political favor, and it's really cringy to watch. Another quick example before moving on comes from the Daily Doug New York was, Times. It was Doug Collins. Yeah, I think I'm talking- I think it was Doug Collins. Let me see. This fucking dude. I'm not even kidding. This Doug Collins dude? This guy, this fucking guy, this fucking dude. Holy shit. I don't know if you've watched the um the impeachment hearings, but this guy is fucking uh um This guy is a fucking crybaby. This fucking dude Look at this dude fucking mauling. He's yelling. He's so mad. I thank the chairman. And it is interesting that Doug delved deeply into this issue. We passed election bills, but did not get into the in-depth part of what Mr. Mueller talked about, taking his own report and having hearings about that. We didn't do it. So I guess the American people doesn't include the House Judiciary Committee. You know, the interesting, uh, we also just heard an interesting discussion. I want to hear where he's really mauling about it. Old. They're already getting ready for this. We've already went after this with the Ukraine after numerous failings of Mueller, Cohen, annulments, the list goes, emoluments, the list goes on. Yeah, this guy's literally got Trump's, like, dick so far down his throat that he can fucking, he, the cummies are going straight, Trump's cummies are going straight into his tummy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that guy was like, that, that, that's the guy I was talking about. 
similar title that says Armageddon is here. Australian readers share their wildfire experiences. Not as seemingly political in the headline, but I'm sure the times will get worse eventually. And notice the similar phrasing being used by separate media outlets. Apocalypse, Armageddon, end of days. You guys know the drill. Liberals want you to think the world is going to end, so you have to vote for it and listen to them. And this, while some are okay, so up, for starters, using terms like Armageddon and like end of days here, it's clickbait. It's so people like click on the articles because it's what news companies do. It's also what you do. If we look at your videos, you clearly clickbait your shit. I mean, all YouTubers do this. You have to word your titles in a very specific way. So, Saved by the Bell gets Woke Reboot. Mercury Gervais roasts Hollywood elitists at Golden Globes. World War Three memes take over the internet. And then you use, the, yeah, like, you clearly you clickbait as well. Pot calling the kettle black. Um, probably Sophie, thank you for the two one gifted sub to unavailable says, is this how you gift subscriptions? It is how you give subscriptions. Good job. Thank you for the tier one gifted sub. I appreciate it. To buy this, I think we're all smart enough to know better. Next, let's finally talk about some real reasons why this whole wildfire thing is happening in the land of Oz. First of all, as stated, no proof has been provided about climate change being directly related, and the weak claims that it's possibly making yes, it somewhat or a little bit worse are obviously just weasel-like ways to. By, by the way, it has been. Like uh, scientists are like unanimously saying, yes, this is being, this is being, exacerbated by climate change desperately make this about climate change and politics. Really, the true culprits are actually out there, though. And there's loads of articles talking about how now the fires are being blamed on arsonists. That's right. This is a man-made problem, just not the kind the liberals in Hollywood would have you believe. For example, this Fox article details how nearly 200 people have been charged with starting these deadly fires, one way or another. Perhaps some were well-intentioned or accidental or worse. Maybe it's the leftists themselves causing these fires and starting them. Wouldn't put it past them to start the problem and then be ready to... <laughs> wait, did he... wait, 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 what? Did you just hear what he just said? Two hundred people have been charged with starting these deadly fires, one way or another. Perhaps some were well-intentioned or accidental, or worse. Maybe it's the leftists themselves causing these fires and starting them. Wouldn't put it past them to start the problem and then be ready to exploit the disaster and use this tragedy to gain their own goals and political aspirations. As for things possible, he's actually making a conspiracy theory about leftists starting wildfires and then blaming it on fucking climate change i do i need to say anything about this that's just literally like conspiracy level thinking yeah also now you know why i turn them up to two times speed now you know why so they're making these wildfires worse well i haven't seen any concrete evidence saying climate change affected this at all i have seen a number of stories yes, finlandia fidel he does talk that slow he does talk that slow how it's actually the left-wing environmentalists who are fanning these flames, quite literally. Basically, as this article discusses, what's happening is radical left-wing environmentalists in Australia are stopping the country from conducting the controlled burns it needs to keep these wildfires from happening. It may seem counterintuitive, but stay with me here. Most don't know or realize this, but forest fires are almost bound to happen, especially in certain very Oh my god, he's citing a Breitbart article. What the fuck, dude? Like, listen, Breitbart is literally everything that comes out of Breitbart is a, a lie. Like, this probably just isn't a true story. This is probably completely made up. So, nice meme. Citing bright areas bright, like much of name. Australia. So in order to prevent this, professionals need to go in and set up and purposely burn down dead parts of these forests. That way they can stop these wildfires yes, from happening on their own. And I know how controlled burns work, okay? This is a made-up article. It's fucking Breitbart. Getting out of control. Also, these controlled burns can help draw lines and borders between different forested areas. That way, when future fires do start, they won't be able to spread as far, like what's happening now. So yeah, in an effort to save all the trees and a few birds, the environmentalists actually made things worse and might have caused almost everything to burn down instead. It's kind of one of those you have to break some eggs to make an omelet type situations. But since liberals won't let Australia break any eggs anymore or have controlled fires, that means they're not going to get any omelets or safety from disasters like what's happening. In the end, we've got another somewhat typical situation for current leftists. They are we about to get booby time? Hey guys, are we about to get booby time? Right on the screen. We're going to get in just a second. I guarantee it's going to happen. No bullshit does this every time because he's a misogynistic pig. He just shows like a video of a woman just putting on makeup or something like that. Because in no bullshit's mind, he, um, women are to be seen and not heard. Women are like objects that are just meant to sit there and look pretty. And so at the end of uh, no bullshit's every, every one of no bullshit's videos, he just shows a video of like a woman wearing like not a lot of clothes, putting on makeup or something. Probably Sophie, thank you for the tier one gifted sub to name user, says I figured it out. Nice, good job, uh, probably Sophie. I appreciate the tier one gifted sub. All right, let's see it. Love to latch on to important time. stories and trends and memes and try and make them political, like what's happening with these fires in Australia. In addition, they also repeatedly will exploit people, like how they use children to emotionally manipulate us about climate change, like what they did with the recent wave of storms there surrounding Greta Thunberg. And now there it is. Booby time. Okay, so um, really quick, uh, with Greta Thunberg, all Greta Thunberg is doing is just, say, like, literally all she's saying is listen to the scientists. Listen to the climatologists. Listen to the experts. Listen to the people who know what they're talking about, please. That's all she's asking. She's not She's not standing at a position of authority. I imagine just because she's so passionate about the, the you know, climate change, she probably knows a lot about, about it, but she isn't speaking from a place of authority, authority, and she doesn't claim to. She's asking for people 
to listen to the scientists. Greta Thunberg doesn't claim to be some fucking genius, like child genius who knows everything about the climate. She's just saying, listen to the fucking scientists. Listen to your country scientists. Do what they are telling you to do. Now they're using the endangerment and deaths of many Australians to push their own agendas once again. And it's really messed up to watch. What it's, do you guys think? Should these what's up, you know what's messed up to me, no bullshit? I'm, I'm going to direct this towards him now. I know even though he's probably too stupid to even navigate his way to this video. You know what's very upsetting to me, no bullshit? is that most of the Australian people are having to suffer because of climate change. Because, as scientists agree, climate change is what is exasperating these fires. And many of them are saying, please, please do something about climate change. We don't want to suffer from things like this anymore. And yet people like you, popular shitlords like you, are using your platform to spread anti-science, anti-intellectualism, and it really pisses me off. So, um, go fuck yourself, no bullshit. The world will be a better place without you.